So the last time we stayed at a travel lodge was about 18 months ago, which led us to make this video where we said we'd never stay at one again. But over 10,000 views later, the comment section has blown up with people saying that we were overly critical, that we were expecting too much, and that we should try one of their super rooms. So we're back. Always a nice welcome. How are you feeling about being back in a travel lodge for the night then, Josh? Well, it looks newly built. Well, it looks newly built, so I'm feeling hopeful. And we've booked ourselves a super room, of course, because that's super what people room. have said we need to do. So, should we have high hopes? I've got high hopes. Fingers I mean, crossed. We make it out like we're snobs. We're not snobs. No, but the last travel lodge was terrible. <laughs> it was really terrible. So this is the travel lodge in Farringdon in Oxfordshire, and we have to show you this. It's literally above a home bargains. Very weird. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not I'm against okay. it. I'm okay with it. <laughs> okay. Entrance to home bargains. Travel lodge reception. Okay, so we've just checked in. Already a marked difference to the last time we was at a travel lodge. The receptionist was so friendly. That's the warmest welcome I've had to a budget hotel in a long time. Also, from what we can see, the restaurant looks really nice as well. Oh, and it's happy hour from five. All drinks, £2.75. Not all drinks, some drinks. That's really good. It feels really warm in here. It does, it smells new as well. It smells, it smells new, like, it's oh. very cozy. You know when you watch horror movies and there's a hotel? Right. Oh. <laughs> Should we walk the it? The lights are going to come on. Should we walk, walk it? Oh, oh. okay, that's cool. That's <laughs> the <fine>. shining. <laughs> the shining. What's our door number? Uh, two three three. Two three three. So the problem is, every time we stay in a hotel room, our room is always the furthest one away. Does this happen to everyone? Because I feel like this happens to everyone. Yeah. Is it, do they only actually let out like four rooms? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. <laughs> Okay, this is a lot better than I thought. I don't even feel like I'm in a travel lodge. No, not uh, even in the slightest. The first thing I've seen, if you're new to this channel, we absolutely love coffee. I see coffee machine. So now is probably a good time for us to start the room tour. Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on, stop, stop. It's not a room tour, it's the super room tour. Right, okay, so TV on the wall, always good, out the way, we like that. Now, one of the problems we had with the previous travel lodge is that you had to go to reception to ask for anything. In the super room, it's all in here already, so we've already got an iron and an ironing board and then some nice hanging space and stuff over here as well. You've got a little work area with a nice little desk chair, actually, that looks really comfortable. And then as Josh has already pointed out, there is a proper Lavazza pod coffee machine, which we will definitely be making use of. We've even got some Galaxy hot chocolates and Josh has already spotted, we've got a little Kit Kat each as I've well. I've never seen somewhere give a Kit Kat. It's only just a regular like biscuit or something. Kit Kat, nice touch. Yeah, Especially like with that. the hot chocolate as well. Obviously kettle as well, if you're not a coffee drinker, what are you doing? <laughs> like, we may be British, but tea, uh-uh, no thank you. Yeah. <laughs> There's also another nice little chair over in the corner to sit in as well. It's always nice when you come into a double room and you've actually got two chairs, because a lot of hotel rooms have one, and that's not very helpful. Also like the nice little bit of artwork they've got on the wall there with the map of Oxfordshire and the Cotswolds, that's all cool. The other thing I've noticed as well that stands out straight away is there's a USB charging next to the beds, which is all, always good. Lots of sockets. There's a hair dryer as well. Josh is gonna be happy because there's a full length mirror in the room as well. But let's see what this bed is all about. I'm sure it says online it's a hypnose bed. So this should be comfy. <laughs> yep. Definitely comfortable. I think we're gonna have a good night's sleep. There's aircon as well, which is always handy, although it is February, so we're probably more likely to need the heat in. And now, your turn, bathroom. Come to my room, it's quite tiny. Right, whoa, that is a big head. Oh, there's buttons on it. What does that mean? Probably got settings. Oh, okay, so it's got settings so you can change how you like shower. I'm not gonna do it now because I'm fully dressed, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a nice shower though. It does look like a really nice power shower, which is nice. Like, you know, all that stuff. Pretty bob standard, really. Bog the, standard? The only thing I don't like is- <laughs> I like the pun, it's the bog. Get it? You didn't oh, look, I can be funny, that. come on, come on, come on. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is the this plastic stuff here, but that is Travel Lodge. It's really nice, actually. Very, very clean. Nice big mirror. Very. It is oh. very clean, very modern looking. It is. Are you going to towel test? Towel test. Oh yeah, we're going to be the towel testers now. We are. No, yeah, fine. Nice and crispy. I know some of you oh, in one of our other videos were saying, oh no, soft, soft. No, rough all the way. Not crispy, rough. I'm trying to say rough, but I always call it crispy. Yeah, <laughs> exfoliate, oh no. Also, another thing to mention, there is body wash and hair shampoo and yes. hand soap and stuff as well, complimentary. The other thing we did have when we last stayed in one, they, the hand soap was 
in the shower and the body wash was by oh, the yeah, sink. Oh yeah, that was weird. Obviously <laughs> it was just a lid the wrong way around, but we thought it was really funny. But yeah, I've got to say so far, very impressed with the Travel Lodge Super Room. And I've also got to say, a little bit shocked as well at the same time. I mean, they won it over when I saw the coffee machine and what coffee they were selling. Oh. Selling? <laughs> They had complimentary. <laughs> there could have been rubbish everywhere, stains on the bed, who cares? But as long as he's got his pod no. coffee machine, he's sold. Do you know what? I love that coffee when we stayed on the yacht and they've got it here, so I'm happy. One complaint though, and it's always a complaint with Travel Lodge, even if you're paying extra for a super room, no Wi-Fi. You have to still pay extra for the Wi-Fi. And I think if you're paying extra for the super room, it would be super if they actually gave you the Wi-Fi included. No. I mean, it is 2023, come on. It is, but that probably won't be so much of a problem for some people. But when you're a YouTuber and you upload continuous videos, it's, helpful. it's a problem. <laughs> and also, the signal is terrible in here. Yeah, so we're meeting up with our friends later. We can't communicate with them. We might have to go, we have to go home bargain. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some signal in Walk there. Walk up the road with our phone in the air until we get some signal. <laughs> what are you doing? Playing on the Enjoying chair. the chair. <laughs> Barely 10 minutes in this room. Josh wants to use the coffee machine already. It's looking at me going, have a coffee, please. Well, all right then. Instructions, I don't read instructions. Oh, this is going to end horribly, isn't it? What? <laughs> water might be a good oh, idea. Oh, no, I've just turned it on. Oh, How do I stop it? God. Oh, my God, stop. There's no water in it. Ah! <laughs> we'll be right back before he blows the place up. How is it still on? There we go. More USB ports down here. <laughs> right, so we're back. We didn't blow up. Oh, the mug doesn't fit. Mate, oh, you'll have to take the bomb bit out. I said, do you think you need to take that out? He was like, nah. Well, it's the drip tray, so I, surely you shouldn't have to take it out, but if the mug's too big, then... Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew making a coffee could be such a trial? Do you think I need to rinse that? Uh, I probably would. Ew. Mm. Okay, that's quite great. Okay, that, it may look <laughs> clean, but it isn't uh, clean. Clean your coffee machines, Travel Lodge. I shouldn't have to do this. Do I get a discount? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back with a clean. Oh! Bingo, baby! Oh, yeah! High five! Woo! Coffee and Kit Kat. Don't mind if I do. Cheers! Cheers. Also, check this out. Oh, a bit of mood lighting. Coffee and mood lighting. Bit of mood lighting for those couples. The, the camera actually lightens it up, so it didn't look like I'd done anything, <laughs> but there is a dimmer switch. Well, I've got to say, we've had a really good night's sleep. That bed is super comfy, and that shower was amazing to wake us up this morning, but we've actually decided we're gonna go and try out the breakfast because it's 8.99 for all you can eat, and we're thinking we might have ourselves a little bit of that this morning. I blame you, you suggested it. Well, it's a bit of a no-brainer. Yesterday, we spent over 30 pounds on breakfast, and we didn't get a lot. And we were starving yeah. all day. We can actually see the breakfast room. It's right there. And the beauty is... There doesn't seem to be anybody in there. Oh, I no, see, I think there's one person. I see one human. So there's plenty of room for us. I'm going to try and see if we can sit right by the window, like right in the corner. Oh, breakfast Bre with a view. Breakfast of with the a view. Rooftop. Of our room. <laughs> we can make sure no one breaks into our room. Oh, if only the window was steamed up, we could have written ourselves a message. Hello. <laughs> right, let's go. Take two, enter the wrong floor. It wasn't my fault, it was my fault. We've got to remember that the breakfast room was on the first floor, not the ground. Yeah. <laughs> first things first, coffee. And one thing I love, they've got alternative milks, which is really good. Really? Ooh, bougie. Well, I've got to say, I am very impressed so far. It's really nice. There is a huge breakfast offering. There's a massive, like, there's things from fruit, croissants, pancakes, there's a full English option, they've got different option milks which is good, orange juice, coffee, you name loads it. Loads of different it. teas. Cereals, teas. All sorts. We haven't even got to the hot stuff yet, I'm just starting line no, with some granola and yogurt and a croissant, coffee, and then we'll go and explore some more of it in a little <laughs> while, but 8.99, I think that's a bargain. Really cool. This is a that. nice little area for the yeah. breakfast as well, and yeah. they do even meals in a full bar in here as mm. well. I think yeah, for 12.99 you can get a meal, I think I saw. 12.75. The croissants definitely don't feel cheap because they're nice and crispy. That's why I love. Sometimes you get like really stodgy ones, but these, crispy. Onto the hot food. Scrambled egg, baked beans, bacon, 
tomato sausages. Oh, I forgot mushrooms. Well, you can go back as many times as you like. Oh. I've got a cheeky little hash brown under me. I'm not that bothered. Yeah, I'm not having a hash brown. I'm gonna be a good boy. Cheers. Well, I've got to say, overall, we are very, very impressed by that Travel Lodge Super Room. If you want to check out what our previous stay at a Travel Lodge was like, then click this video here to see why we said we'd never stay at one again, even though we just have, and we'll see you over there. Bye.